I know. <laughs> That's why I come up for like three months at a time. Yeah, normally. Hello? Thank you. Because it takes me about three days to get up here. Only because I like to stop. You know, six hours of towing is enough. You know. Oh yes. Right. Right. No. Yeah. <laughs> Gee, that's terrible. Yeah. You know, in previous years when I come up, um, I would always have that problem. You know, should have been here last week. Too high, too low. You know, all those kind of things. Out. Theo, out. Get out. Get out. Oops. You know, and I just got sick of it. And I thought, well, you know what? But, because if you have accommodation for a week or something, it's, it gets really expensive. But by having the caravan, it's like 25 quid a night. And then I can, you know, it's all got all the more cons. I've lived in it now for 18 months. So, it's a great way to live and it's a great way to travel. Um, I make YouTube videos, so you, do you mind being on it? No? Okay, just let you know. You're pretty smart. At least you're wearing a tie. You know? What um what fishery was it on the uh, on the Tyne? Oh, I've looked at that place a few times. Really? Okay. Yeah. 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 Which which uh, which? Where? I don't know that one. Yeah. Oh, she's a Doris. No, I've not heard of it. No. Is that like a private fishery? 
Is it really? Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I'm up there um, in June, actually. I'm doing the uh, River D 24 hour marathon. It's like a, you fish for 24 hours for charity. Um, well, I don't know all of them yet. I think, um, I think one is Canton. Uh, Inch Marlow, I think is another one. I think Tilbury's is, or Tilbury's is another one. And I think probably uh, Crathers Castle. Yeah, so it's a team of three. And so we've, I got together with uh, a guy that lives uh, in Stirling that I've met through salmon fishing and another person. And uh, yeah, we're just trying to raise money for charity. Got to try and raise 500 pound each and it all goes towards the River D Trust. Theo, hey! Theo! Out! Yeah, yeah. So that was lunch. <clears throat> and now we've moved up to, or down, up, not sure. We were on beat one this morning, and uh, now we're on beat three. And I think we're fishing, I think this pool might be called the Horncliffe Pool, I'm not sure. We shall find out. But, uh, this is much easier wading than it was this morning. Like small stones. Have you managed to get yourself out lately? Anything to report? How's it fishing where you are? I'd love to know. Drop it in the comments section below this video. Also, I really must tell you about an event I'm taking part in. Uh, in June, I'm doing the River D Fish 24. It's a uh, charity event and I'm trying to raise money for charity. I'm trying to raise 500 pounds between myself and two others to make a team myself and Russ Patton and Callum and we are getting together to fish a 24-hour marathon up on the River Dee in various beats and locations. There's about 36 rods taking part in this event and if you would like to support me in uh, my quest to raise £500 if you drop into the uh, description of this video you'll find more information about uh, Fish24 and how you can support us. And of course, that entire uh, experience will be covered in my, uh, on my channel. So there'll be some night fishing for sea trout. Not quite sure how I'm gonna cover that just yet. I'm thinking maybe like a, a red torch or something like that it might help. But anyway, I'm going to be covering the entire event for my channel. So uh, you'll be able to get to see the event in its entirety. And maybe next year uh, you'll um, want to take part in it. I think this year we've got, um, well, they've got Robson Green and uh, a couple of other sort of fishing celebrities taking part as well. So, you know, well worth getting involved to support the uh, River D Trust charity and all the work they do for habitat, wildlife, you know, conservation of the rivers, etc. And any support you give will be gratefully received. Also, can I also say a huge welcome and thank you to all of the people who've joined my channel uh, recently. 
so cool to have you on board. Thank you so much. It means a tremendous amount to me that you decided to join me for my fishing adventures. I'm on the Tweed now for, I think I've got about six trips or five trips left, including this one, five adventures. Uh, so I'm looking forward to bringing you those. And that will probably coincide quite nicely to when I'm back up in Scotland in June. <clears throat> Absolutely beautiful up here now. Quite warm, no wind. This is lovely clear water. Running quite well through into these, uh, there's like two croys, one to my left and one to my right. And I'm just sort of walking down towards the croy here on the, uh, the on, our, on our bank. Trying to cast as almost as square as possible. Uh, a bit of a fly change, gone a little bit heavier. Another Matt's trick special. Slightly larger tube fly. <clears throat> Theo is in the car because uh, I am out so far in the middle of the river. He coped really well this morning. He didn't, um, <clears throat> he didn't come out too much. He did go and chase a few ducks and what have you, but uh, he was actually okay. But he can be in the car, certainly while I'm on this stretch. Kind of like up to my knees here in the water. Just taking my time through this bit. It's going to get deep the other side of the croy. Come on, fish. Come on, fish. Hope you're enjoying the, uh, the videos. If you've got any questions or comments or advice, then uh, drop it in the comments section. Always love to interact with uh, subscribers. If you're not subscribed, it'd be great if you did. 75% of people who watch my videos don't subscribe. So, you know, let's uh, show me the support doesn't cost you anything hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if that's what rocks your boat I post my videos every Sunday at half past six in the evening I could post more regularly but uh, to be frank I quite like posting on a Sunday night I like to watch my videos and uh, it's good to see so many other people with their videos enjoying themselves.
effectively documenting your uh, your adventures and that's that's really cool that's that's what this is all about okay well what had started as a very nice day is now ending in this awful awful sort of Cornish people call it like mizzle misty rain it kind of it's the type that really gets you wet and uh, yeah so it's on with the jacket and uh, I've taken an unsuccessful trip through uh, beat one which was uh, below Norham Castle nice stream though yeah really nice stream uh, nice and interesting and then uh, after lunch we went down to beat three into a nice pool which was a uh, nice bit of flow through that flow through this isn't that good uh, to be honest with you so I need to just get my line out a little bit further I'm going to get a long, long line out to make the most of the current out there. Yeah. But still, another nice fishery to, uh, to come to. I love the off-road sort of 4x4 four four tracks, even though they are just like tracks, then it's not sort of proper off-road. I mean, I do enjoy... <clears throat> that kind of thing. Can't help but feel that uh, the river could certainly do with some rain. Uh, for those of you who fished it before, there's uh, another sort of hut stoke shield up there. I'm wondering, I'm not sure, is that the hut that I no it can't be when i fished it because this is lady kirk across the way from me i think when i fished at lady kirk um last march or oh, whenever it was last year there was a lovely fishing hut then they all seem to be like the one that we had lunch in today was another sort of brick built hut netting station you know, back in the day when there was enough salmon to be netted, I suppose. Yeah. So just casting a little line out here just on this side of the... Uh, and you can see it coming down there. I'm going to have to be careful because I think the... The camera will get wet today, or the face of it will. Other than that, I think it's been quite an enjoyable day. Nice to uh, get out and experience another new fishery. This fishery uh, cost me 70 quid uh, for the day, including uh, the ghillie, who was going to get a tip because he's basically spent the whole day with me. Um, which was amazing uh you know standing there with a net so yeah he's a nice nice chap good little some good conversations at lunch very friendly if you're thinking about coming fishing that's uh, another good place i would recommend Yeah, I would recommend it. He did invite, he did say that uh, if I wanted to fish on after five o'clock, then, uh, you know, more than welcome, like most places. But if this weather is going to be setting in like this, I... I think I'd rather both go back and 
go back to the caravan and have a beer, to be honest with you. Same fly uh, as I had earlier. Yep. Theo is definitely going to be in the car now. I don't want him getting more wet. He got absolutely soaked to the lovely swim and everything this morning. He can. He can come out on the bank while I'm getting uh, everything put away. A jumping trout there, well, little trout. Uh, he can come out on the bank while I put everything away. Um, later. So, he has had a nice day. Might clear up. So tomorrow I'm at uh, the Boathouse and Canny uh, on Saturday. No gilly tomorrow, which, uh, you know, I quite like no gilly beats sometimes because uh, that means I don't, I'm not on a, t I'm not on other, I'm not on somebody else's timetable, which I don't mind during the week or, you know, for like here, I didn't mind it at all, but Sometimes it's like, you know, got a beer by 8.30 and all that kind of, and I think, oof, I can do it most days, it's not a problem, but just sometimes. Wow. I mean, I really don't like swans, but they sound amazing when they fly. A lot of swans about. I don't think, unless this rain gets heavier, I don't think it's going to make a discernible difference to uh, water levels over the next couple of days. River is dropping. I know why it's raining. It's because when I set the caravan up in Jedburgh uh, a couple of days ago, I thought, do you know what? I'm going to put my sun canopy up and I'm going to get the, uh, the sun lounger out or, you know, the deck chair thing. And uh, I might have a barbecue. That's what it is. That's what it is. Oh, it's because I went and got a barbecue. Oh, you idiot. It's you thinking, oh, it'd be nice to have a barbecue. Of course, I should have known better. Well, that's it. So that was Horn Cliff. Um, nice fishery. Yeah, nice fishery. Great ghillie. Uh, you know, it's one of those kind of places that uh, on a good day you get, you know, stand a really good chance of fish. I mean, water conditions are perfect. I've seen somebody pull a fish out already uh, today uh, from Lady Kirk opposite this beat. Uh, but today it's just not my day. Anyway, it's just coming up for five o'clock and I thought, well, 
I'll go back uh, to the, uh, uh, the fishing hut, get changed, go back and have a beer. Uh, I'm feeling quite tired actually. Um, yeah, so that's it. Look, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give me a massive thumbs up. And uh, if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to be uh, recording lots more fishing videos throughout the year and I've already got uh, more plans and more trips uh, coming up. Uh, plus there's also going to be at least another six other videos from the Tweed uh, on this trip today, uh, on this trip at the moment. So uh, thanks very much for your continued support guys and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Alright, take care, proper job. <laughs>